Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I'm Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So I hope from the thumbnail you get to know about the topic of today's video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the intensive data in ISC Bangalore for MTech students. So I hope you all know in the beginning of second semester in ISC Bangalore, all the MTech students can participate in the placement session that is for intensive. And whoever will be got selected for any company at the end of second semester during the summer, they can visit that company and do uh, a couple of months of internship. Now this year also earlier this year around January end the placement session was started in ISC Bangalore and all the students from different different department has participated in that particular placement session and how was the placement that data I'm able to gather and that I'm going to share you uh, in this particular video. In specific I'm going to share you that which other department has participated in the placement session for internship uh, which of the companies has visited the campus, how much salary or package that they have offered for those couple of months of internship. And the slot wise data, I mean, in slot one, slot two, which of the companies has visited, everything I'm going to share with you in this video. The only disclaimer is that I'm not able to tell you that how many students these companies have taken, that data I don't have. I only have the data about the companies, their details, and which of the department has participated in the placement. So that will be the content of this particular video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned this video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload this kind of videos, you will get instant notification. And don't forget to hit the like button if you have liked this video. Without further delay, let's get started into today's video. Now I will let you know that which other department has participated in this year placement session for summer internship in 2024. The departments are Center for Biosystems, Science and Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Department of Management Studies, Smart Manufacturing, Instrumentation and Applied Physics or IAP in short, uh, Center for Atmospheric and Ocean Studies, uh, Robert was Centers for Cyber Physical System. Uh, in Civil Engineering, there are a lot of, uh, you know, other, other sub-departments like Civil Engineering, Dam Engineering, uh, Structural Engineering, Transportation Engineering, Water Resources, uh, geotechnical engineering so all of this comes under civil uh, civil department then cds department or computational data science department uh, mobility engineering computer science and automation or csa electrical engineering e electrical uh, engineering signal processing so signal processing is other uh, department which comes under ec uh, signal processing department chemical engineering aerospace engineering uh, center for product design and manufacturing Artificial intelligence, whoever is doing MTech in AI, they have participated. Uh, physics, uh, from physics department, UG people, undergraduate people have participated because this kind of question I used to get that whether undergraduate students are participating in placement or not. So from physics department, undergraduate students have participated. Electrical communication engineering or EC, Center for Nanoscience and Engineering, Life Sciences, Materials Engineering, and finally Chemical Sciences. So these are the all departments which has participated in the uh, intensive placement session this year in ISC Bangalore. Now we will tell you the slot wise data then which slot which company have visited the campus for intensive how much stipend that they offer to the students who got selected for doing intensive in their company and what was their mode of selection. So there are three types of slots uh, the first one was Opel slot I don't know what does this mean but in Opel slot there are four companies which have visited the campus first one was Walmart lab second was Accenture third was KLA and fourth one was Dynamic Technology lab Walmart was offering 1 to 1.1 1 .1 lakhs, lakhs per annum as a stipend. Accenture was offering 90,000 uh, rupees per month as as, uh, as stipend. KLA was offering 2 lakhs rupees per month as stipend. And Dynamic Technology Lab was offering 3,000 Singapore dollars. So uh, exactly if you if you convert it into India rupees, it's like 1 lakhs 90,000 rupees per month. Now, uh, Walmart and Dynamic Technology Lab didn't select anyone after they uh, did the interview and all. But Accenture and KLA has taken some student. Again, I don't know what the exact number of students that they've taken because the data I have gathered, there is no such mention about the number of students, um, you know, kind of placed in, in any company. Now, the the mode of selection was uh, for Accenture and KLA, it was uh, online or offline physical uh, interview. So this was the mode of uh, selection process. Now, in slot one, there are uh, seven companies. Uh, Amazon was there. Cisco was there, Wells Fargo was there, Texas Instrument, Mastercard, Qualcomm, Physica, uh, Flipkart. So these are seven companies which had visited the campus in slot one. 
uh, but uh, I think um, Mastercard didn't uh, t- didn't take anyone. They maybe in the last moment they have cancelled the uh, recruitment process, so that's why it's mentioned as cancelled. But initially, it was it was scheduled that Mastercard will take few students. Now coming to the stipend part, Amazon has uh, Amazon was offering one lakh twenty thousand rupees to one lakh sixty thousand rupees based on the role that they're offering. Cisco is offering one lakh twenty one thousand rupees per month. Wells Fargo is offering one lakh thirty thousand rupees per month. Texas Instrument was offering sixty thousand rupees per month. Qualcomm forty five thousand rupees per month, and Flipkart one lakh rupees per month. Now, now uh, coming to uh, the 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 mode of selection, all of the companies has taken online interviews, and based on that, they have uh, chosen their candidates. In slot two, now coming to slot two, in slot two there are uh, again seven companies: Salesforce, Analog Devices, Fidelity, Micron. Jaguar and Land Rover, uh, Corning and Providence Global Center. Now, among them, only one company has backed out. Uh, that was Analog Devices. They didn't take anyone. They have cancelled their uh, intensive recruitment. But other six companies has taken students. Coming to stipend, uh, Salesforce is offering Salesforce was offering one lakh fifty thousand rupees per month. Fidelity was offering one lakh rupees per month. Micron was offering fifty thousand rupees per month. Jaguar and Land Rover was offering one lakh rupees per month. Uh, Corning was offering seventy thousand rupees per month, and Providence Global Center is offering one lakh rupees per month. A few companies like Salesforce, Micron, Jaguar, Land Rover, and Providence Global Centers they have taken online interviews, but Corning and uh, Fidelity they have selected uh, students based on the CV screening. So here comes the most important thing that your CV is also important. Based on your CV, you are getting selected for uh, internship play, uh, internship placement. Now, those are the two slots where uh, this uh, six six twelve companies has visited the campus and they have taken students. But after that, the sequential process of recruitment has started, and then many companies had visited the campus and sequentially when they come, they they have taken student. Uh, most of them has declared the result, but many of them their result is still pending till date when I have gathered this data. And there are many companies which have visited the campus actually, like Salesforce has again visited the campus. Uh, like they have visited the campus, I think in the fourth slot. No, yes, uh, in the second slot they have visited the campus. It again in the in the in the upcoming slot they have visited and they are offering again one lakh fifty thousand rupees per month. Analog devices we didn't um, you know visit the campus in the slot two. They came uh, after that and they were offering sixty thousand rupees per month. Thoughtspot has visited the campus. They were taking one lakh rupees per month. There are Siemens. Uh, there are Bajaj Auto, Intel, TVS Motor. Uh, then there are companies like Fujitsu. There are companies like Honeywell, uh, Siemens. I've already told you. And there are many startups who have visited the campus. Uh, I th- I will say almost sixty percent or or sixty to seventy percent of them has already declared the result that they have taken student. But few of them their result is still pending. Uh, few of them even the test is pending. I mean the interview is still going on. Uh, because uh, the placement is not even not e- yet over, but yeah, I mean there are many companies which have visited the campus for the internship and they have taken students and they have the best part is that they are giving a huge amount of money most of them uh, for the students who are getting placed in the internship in this company. Now I'll share with you that what are the job roles these different companies are offering to the student. Uh, Accenture was offering advanced application engineering intern. Amazon was offering applied scientist intern. Analog devices were offering two roles. Uh, one was digital design intern and one was product application intern. Applied materials there is a company which is created. They are offering mechanical engineering intern, uh, vacuum man, man, mainframe, and another was control engineering intern. Uh, Budget Auto Limited was offering uh, the job role was Octane 2024. I don't know what does it mean. Cisco was offering ASIC engineer and software engineer. Uh, then Dynamic Technology Lab was offering quantitative research intern. Uh, then Fidelity was offering MTech summer internship. Uh, Flipkart was offering data science intern. Then there was Funden was offering applied AI engineer. Jaguar Land Rover was offering uh, EV powertrain software intern and EV powertrain hardware intern. Then there was uh, KLA was offering parallel computing internship and AIML intern. Micron was offering intern intern PDP. Qualcomm was offering many roles. Qualcomm was offering intern, uh, modern system, modern FW, hardware, multimedia system, chip architecture system, automotive AIML system, automotive compute system, and electromagnetic design and automation. Salesforce was offering uh, associate member of technical staff. Texas Instrument was offering signal processing intern, analog intern, digital intern. 
দেন ওয়ালমার্ট ওজ অফারিং ডেটা সায়েন্স ইন্টার্ন ওয়েস্ট ফার্গ ওজ অফারিং ইন্টার্ন অ্যানালিটিক্স অ্যান্ড ইন্টার্ন টেকনোলজি তেজাস নেটওয়ার্ক ওজ অফারিং সফটওয়্যার ইন্টার্ন স্যামসাং রিসার্চ ডেভেলপমেন্ট ইনস্টিটিউট ওজ অফারিং নর্মাল আই মিন এমটেক ইন্টার্ন টিভিএস ওজ অফারিং ডেটা ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং ইলেকট্রিক্যাল ইলেকট্রনিক্স অ্যান্ড এনবেটেড সিস্টেম সো দিস আর ডিফারেন্ট কোম্পানিজ অ্যান্ড দেয়ার রোলস হোয়াট দে হ্যাভ অফার কমিং টু হোয়াট ইজ মাই কি টেক অ্যাওয়েজ ফ্রম দিস ইন্টেনসিভ ডেটা দ্যাট আই জাস্ট শেয়ার উইথ ইউ The number one takeaway is that placement session has improved a lot. You know, last time when I discussed about the placement session data of last year, 2023-2024 session, uh, what I have, I have discussed in, this, in that particular video is that not much of big companies had been to the campus and they were not taking uh, many students. Though they are offering quite good salary, but the number of intake was very low and the number of good companies treated ISC campus was, was not that good. But now you can see all the big companies that treated the campus for intensity. Amazon has treated the campus, Walmart, uh, then Flipkart, Qualcomm, Samsung, Cisco, Wells Fargo, uh, Salesforce. So these are big companies, uh, which was most of them was missing in last year placement session. But they have come up for the intensive data. That means that somehow the market is now again, you know, recovering back and there are many uh, open positions available in this company. So that's why they're coming. And most important thing is they are also giving good amount of salary. I, I mean, if you see most of the uh, stipend is close to 1 lakh rupees per month. That is really, really good news because if you're getting 1 lakh rupees per month for 2-3 months of internship, that's a, that's, a, that's a good amount of salary. You can't expect more than that. So this is a good sign that big companies are coming up and they are uh, they are recruiting students for, for internship. And second takeaway is your CV is very important. I, I mean, I can see many of the companies has taken students based on the CV screening. So that's why I always say CGPA, having good CGPA, having, having a good CV is always very important. And try to maintain a good CV, try to maintain good CGPA because most of the time when companies are screening students, uh, they are doing some sort of filtering among the students. They use CGPA as a criteria and they use good CV as a criteria. That's, so that's why if you have a good CV, then your chance of getting selected for a particular company, at least the first phase, your, your chance is very, very high. So try to maintain a good CGP and try to make some good project uh, whenever you are working in some some courses or creating some courses or maybe if you join some lab, if you have already started with your supervisor, try to have a good project in your CV so that whole company will see your CV and when they're trying to screen based on the CV, you will be selected for that particular job. Yeah, that's it guys. That's it about this video. I'm trying to share with you the placement data for internship in IIS Bangalore. And I hope this data will be very helpful for all students who are aiming to join IIS Bangalore for their MTech curriculum. So there was a doubt whether the placement will be good in this year because last year the placement was really, really bad. But from the internship data, at least we can see that market is, um, you know, booming up. Market is recovering. And I hope for this pattern, if it follows, in the placement session also, we'll see that most of the students are getting placed in big companies. Uh, most big companies are coming into the campus and they are recruiting many students and they are offering also big packages. So yeah, that's it, that's it about the whole data. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video to other people. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload this kind of video, you'll get a notification. That's it about this video. I'll be meeting next video. Until then, bye.